and quintet excerpt. We're going to remember the timbre of the flute, and if you want to hear some great examples of oboe or clarinet, French horn, and bassoon, you can definitely go to the internet and just, you know, look up clarinet sound or oboe sound, or you can buy some recordings that have really good examples of those instruments. So we're going to start with our flute, oboe, clarinet, horn in F, and bassoon. So let's make a slow chorale. I'm going to make a slow chorale. You, I suggest you do too because it's really simple to think of the transposition when you're not you're dealing with a lot of different rhythms. Okay, so let's pick our key. Um, how about we'll do the key of C for flute and oboe, which means the clarinet is in B flat. And the horn in F, so before in the Mozart, when your flute had two flats, it was in the key of B flat. So the horn was in F. So the horn will be in a key a fourth below the flute. So this will be in the key of C. The horn will be in G. Okay. And we'll write our clefs. And the bassoon will be also in C. So let's try and just write a C. So the flute will hold a C. The oboe will have an E. And so we want the clarinet to have a C, so we'll write a D for the clarinet. And the horn, we want to have a C. So if we want it to play a C, the horn sounds a fifth below what we write. What we need to do is find on the keyboard, verify that you know the register you're writing for, the French horn, sounds a perfect fifth below written pitch. So when you write a G for the horn, it will sound like a C. So let's try this. So if it sounds a fifth below written pitch, if you write the G, then it sounds like an F. We want a C, so when we, if we write a C, if we write a G, it will sound like a C. So let's write a G for that French horn, because we want this sound. So we'll write a G. We'll make it easy for the French horn player. Okay. And the bassoon, we will give a clef to. And we'll, what we're going to give the bassoon, the bassoon sounds an octave below written pitch. So we will give the bassoon, let's see, we'll give him a G. So he'll be playing, this will sound like a low G. Let's listen to all of our chords. The bassoon has a G. The French horn we've given a G, so he'll sound like a C. And the clarinet has a D to sound like a C. Which the clarinet and the horn are playing the same register. The oboe has an E, the flute has a C. Okay, there's our first measure. So let's continue, and I want the flute to move to an F. Okay, so the flute's going to move to an F. The oboe is going to move up to an F as well. C to F and E to F. As you remember from our part rating, this is similar. A similar movement, similar motion from our part rating. Okay, clarinet's going to keep the D because we want to keep the C. We're, we're creating an F major chord. So this is one in C. We're going to go to a four, which is F. Okay, so we are going to keep the G in the horn as well because we have already a C. The clarinet is sounding a C. The horn is sounding a C. The flute has an F. The oboe has an F. So our bassoon definitely needs to play an A. We're going to give the bassoon an A. Okay, so let's make sure, check your ranges and make sure that all of your instruments are within their proper range. And it looks like we are definitely on the higher end of the bassoon, but E, F, G, A. It's okay, the bassoon can play that, that high. And 
we'll keep this here. So let's find this chord. Okay. Our, let's make sure we know our notes. Flute has an F. The oboe has an F, the same F. The clarinet has a C, which is written D. The horn has a G, which sounds like a C. We'll give this horn an octave lower. And the bassoon has an A. Great. Okay, so let's make, let's move on and let's give the bassoon something lower to do. So we're going to change him to bass clef from treble clef. And let's go on and go to the five chord. So we need uh, the G's, the chord of G. And the flute has an F, so we'll put the flute on G. The oboe also has an F. Let's make the oboe player. We need a D and a G and a B. G, B, D. So we'll make the oboe go to D. Okay. Now the clarinet has a C, so we want to have a D. We're going to move the clarinet up to an E. So flute has a G. And the oboe has a D. Clarinet has a D. The horn is playing what sounds like a C right now. So we want to have a B natural. We're going to have the horn play an F sharp. Okay, so this is a B natural. And the bassoon, we're going to go ahead and give the bassoon, I think we need another G. So the bassoon was playing an A. We're going to make the bassoon go a little bit lower and play a G. Let's make sure we're in the correct range for the bassoon, definitely. The bassoon is going to be playing this G. So let's play this from the beginning so we can listen to it. And our oboe and flute parts, the clear, in the first measure, have C and E, the clarinet has a C, the horn has a C, and the bassoon has also a C. Okay, then we're moving to the F, so the oboe and the flute both move to an F, the clarinet keeps the C, the horn has a C, and the bassoon is moving to an A. Okay, wonderful. The third measure is the five chord. The flute goes to a G, the oboe goes to a D, and the clarinet also has a D. Let's find the D for the clarinet. And the horn is playing a B, and the bassoon is playing a G. Beautiful. We've got to find our way back to C, so let's go for a big high C on the flute part. The oboe will move down to an octave C. Oops, we just need a whole note. So we'll make this a whole note and fix our staff. Okay. The last measure for the clarinet will have a C as well. We need an E and we need a G because everyone is playing C. C, C, C. We need, we would like an E in the horn part. Well, let's see. If we want an E, we need to write a B. So let's move to up this B. Let's, and we'll make sure, let's look at our ranges for the French horn. That looks good. This is well within the French horn's range. Here's our B, which sounds like an E. And let's see, the bassoon, we would like to have a G. And it looks like we have just what we're just going to keep the G there. So we have created our woodwind quintet. Let's play through the whole thing and make sure we're, we've got all the correct transpositions happening. So the beginning measure is a C in the flute and an E in the oboe. The clarinet also has a C. The bassoon has a, what sounds like a C. And the horn, so the horn has what sounds like a C, and the bassoon is, we're dealing with a G. Okay, the second measure, the flute and oboe are both moving to F. The clarinet is keeping the C. The horn has what sounds like a C, but looks like a G. And the bassoon is moving to what we want is an A. Okay, great. The next measure, we're moving to G. The flute is moving to G. The oboe has a D. We've given the clarinet a D as well. The horn is playing an F sharp, which sounds like a B. 
and then because we want a B, so then the last measure, the last instrument we need to fill in is the bassoon. Okay, and now we need the very last measure. So the flute part has a C, the oboe part has the C below, so does the clarinet, and the horn. We wanted to hear an E, so we're actually going to change this to an A. That will sound like an E, because we need to write whatever pitch we want. We need to write a full fifth below, so it wasn't B, it was A. So the the bassoon, the horn will be playing E. We have C, E, and then the bassoon has a G. So it takes a lot of work to really think about all the transposition for even just five instruments. Um, we'll be exploring orchestral scores soon, so when you are thinking about violin one, violin two, viola, cello, all of the woodwinds, all of the brass, and the percussion, then you start to get an idea of how much work and time it takes to write in a symphony that goes for an hour. This we just wrote four bars. So creating music and writing symphonies and writing music takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, and a lot of dedication to the music that you feel you need to have heard out and performed in public or performed by friends, wherever, but it takes a lot of hard work. Thank you for watching this installment and keep watching for more composition.